Dana is with us. Dana is in North Carolina. Hey, Dana, how are you? Hey, thanks for taking my call. Sure. How can I help? How can we help? Uh, so my son, um, he's 21. He graduated in December. Um, he has not been able to find a job, and I've been helping him um, with his bills. He was in Florida. What, what, kind of, uh, what, kind of, what kind of degree did he get? He got a degree in game art. In, in what? He's in game art. He's an artist. Game art. As in like yeah. uh, like a video, game video, game. video games? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. So, so he's got a lot he's got a lot of graphic arts under his digital graphic arts under his belt then, right? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. So maybe he's not and maybe he doesn't go to work for a game company, maybe he goes to work for a company. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> okay. That is the goal. <laughs> All right. Um, but I've been helping him out and I, I really can't anymore. Um and I just want to know how to go about that, letting him know that without ruining our relationship. Your relationship's only based on money? No, it's just I just don't want to upset him because I've been helping him out so much. Mm. So, first and foremost, you're going to have to put that down. Um, and if the truth about my mom's financial situation impacting my inability to find work, like if if that is if yeah, as Dave just pointed out, if that's what my love for my mom is based on, there's other deeper problems. I think you take him out to breakfast and say, hey, I've done the math on my own budget and I can't keep doing this. Here's the finish line here. And I know your dream is to work for Pixar. I know your dream is to work for, I don't know what, I'm going to make up games, Fortnite or whatever the thing is. Um, Was it Animal Farms? That's the one you like? I, I don't, <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know. For Pong, that's the last video game Pong, I played yeah. was Pong. Okay. Atari. Um, surely they've, yeah. yeah. Um, you're on your own. You're going to have to go find work. He's a 21-year-old college grad and he is lived under somebody who loves him and who's given him a soft place to land after graduation, particularly in a COVID mess. But So, um, so how much him. money have you been giving him? Um, well, he lives out of state, so I've been helping with everything, um, anywhere from six to 800 a month. Six to 800 a month, okay. And you've reached the end of being able to do that, you're saying. How much longer could you do that? Probably not anymore at all. Not at all. You're out of money. Right. Okay, so it really doesn't matter. You just got to um, tell him because you can't give him more money. You're just done, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. right? Okay. All right. So yeah, my my suggestion have breakfast isn't going to work. So yeah, but it's a FaceTime conversation. Yeah, just but just get on the phone or FaceTime or whatever, and just say you know I, I I've I've I'm so sorry I've reached the end of my money. I don't have any more. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. you're going to have to you know. Go do something. So you're six or eight hundred. He's not surviving on that. Well, he has. He lives with other people, so they split rent. So his rent's like two hundred. So he doesn't work at um, all. It, no, he hasn't. Mm -mm. Like not delivering pizzas or Uber or not mowing no, grass or blowing leaves or anything. Not that I'm aware of. Not that I know of. Okay. Yeah, that ends today. I mean, when I ask him, he says he's been looking, but he hasn't. Yeah. yeah. I you promise know, when he gets hungry enough. Um, just say I, I would go pick up anything and everything, honey. It's what I had to do when I was your age, mm -hmm. and um, I love you. I'm cheering for you. I'll do everything I can to help you. I just don't have any more money. I'm so sorry. I'm out, and it breaks my heart. I wish I could help more, but I can't. And if okay. he gets mad about that, that is on him. Okay. Is he gonna get mad? Thank you. Is he a, is he a person that gets mad at his mother over no, there? No, I mean I don't think I don't think he will. I just okay. All right. I just don't want him to yeah. like. If he was my son, I would have already had this discussion about six months ago, <laughs> and we would have been delivering pizzas. Go down to Home Depot, buy a leaf blower. Rich people are afraid of leaves. You can get a job. I mean, there's stuff to do. Okay. Hey, and Dana, you're a good mom. You are a great mom. You're a good mom. You're a great mom. Ma the the level of your m mother of the year award is not based on dollars. Ever. You're a good mom, Dana. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.